I have many customers here with the contact information, you know, customer name, address, city, state, and so on. I also created a document that I want to mail off to each of these customers separately. So one document that's addressed, well, going to be addressed to this customer, and the second document to that one, and so on. So instead of doing it separately for a total of 14 customers, I can go ahead and use the Mail Merge feature that with that one document, I can insert the merge field of the customer name. And so after it pulls in the first name, it says, OK, we've got more. And then it duplicates that letter and pulls in the second name. So the second letter for Home Builders, the third letter for Happy Town Play World, and so on, until we get a total of 14. Sound cool? I knew it would. Let's go ahead and take a look at the letter that we're going to be pulling these names into so we can address and mail off the letter to each one of these customers. Let me restore my exercises folder. It's right here, the client's merge letter. Double click. Here we go, today's date, and then we've got Dear. Now I can't type in the first customer's name because if I do that and I hit print, then I'd have to delete that. Type in the next one, hit print. I mean, you could do that, but no. We got a much easier way, especially if you had hundreds or thousands of them. So what we'll do is we'll insert a merge field here. I'll show you that in just a minute. But first of all, it says Kurt Kirsch on Dreamforce invite you to subscribe for the $5 monthly option, which includes all Microsoft Office training tutorials, 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007. You can also get exercises, instruct notes and quizzes. New videos will be constantly uploaded to Patreon, so you'll get new content. Visit and sign up at this website. And this is legit, folks. I mean, if you're interested, please go ahead and sign up. It'd be great to have you. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and let's start the merge. To do that, let me close out of here. And I'm going to go back to Access, and then come up here, click on the External Data tab, go to the Export Group, and Word Merge. Let's go ahead and click on that to start the process. It says, what do you want the wizard to do? Link your data to an existing Microsoft document, or you want to start from scratch? Well, I created my document, so let's hook up. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and it says, where is it? Well, it's in my Exercises folder. Double click right there, double click, and it pulls it up. Now it pulls it up in the mail merge step-by-step -step window here, or task pane, and down below it puts us right in step three of six. Now the mail merge feature is really step intensive as far as the details go. So if you really want to get the nitty gritty, you want to watch my word training video on mail merge because I really go into detail. Here, I just want to give you enough to get you through it because otherwise it's, well, I already created the training video for mail merge. So when it comes to access, well, we pretty much did our part, but let me go ahead and finish it here so you can see the basics of how this works. And again, I recommend that you watch my Word Mail Merge training video if I haven't pushed that enough already. In any case, step three, which is to go ahead and select the recipients, and it automatically did that for us. It's the customers table in the High Duplicates database. So we can go ahead and say, let's click Next to go to step four to write the letter. Now, we've already written the letter, but it says, you can go ahead and add recipient information to the letter. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good because I want to be able to address each customer within my database. And you can do it numerous ways. You can do an address block, click on that, or you can choose one of the options here. And then over here, you get a preview. So we don't have a first name, last name. We have the company name, so it doesn't bring that in. It just brings all the other fields that it recognizes or that it's matched to. Click on Match. And so the first name's not matched, last name's not matched. I could match that to the customer name. You know, that would be the first name and click Okie Dokie. And it says if you match a field to unique identifier, data from that field will be stored in the publication where others might be able to read it. Do you want to match this to the unique identifier? It's up to you. You can say yes. And there we go. We actually get the name. Well, first name, which is the company name, Start Temps. And you can advance to see what it looks like with all the others. Make sure everything looks grisly up to 14 records. So you can do it that way to go ahead and insert that. But remember, mine, let me click cancel, is just dear. I'm not putting an address block, which I could up above, you know, the client's name and their address. But instead, I just want, to keep it simple, just a field that says dear customer name. So come over here, there's the greeting line, and it's got dear. I already have that, so I don't need to put that in there. And then you can pick and choose how you want to address the person. And it's by first name here, which is the customer name. We don't have it separated by customer name, last name, and, well, their titles, junior. So, well, let's go ahead and click cancel. We won't go that way. But what you can do is you can click on more items, 
and you get a list of all the fields that are available from that table in the Access database, the least of which is customer name. So when I go ahead and select that and click on Insert, it'll insert it wherever the cursor is at. You can do it here or come up here on the Mailings tab and go to the right and Insert Fields group, and you can insert the Merge field there, whatever your flavor is. Let's go ahead and do Customer Name, and it puts in the title of the field, but in these like carrot-like brackets, two on each side, to delineate, let you know that, hey, that's a merge field. It's going to pull in stuff from our database. In fact, when you click on it, it automatically highlights it. And you can come up here on the Mailings tab to the Preview Results and click on Preview. And it says, let's click off, Dear Happy Town Play World. Cool. And we can go to the next one. And that's four, five. And so it's pulling in. Looks good. You can go ahead and deselect that and go back to just the title of the merge field. So if you got what you want, great. You can add more merge fields, like if you have their total sales. You can insert that if you had a line down below that says, thank you for purchasing number of videos. And so that could work really well in helping it personalize to your customers. So we'll go ahead and leave it as is and click Next to preview the letters, and then it automatically turns this on. But in this task pane over here, it allows you to zip back and forth. And also, you can edit the recipient list. Click on that and say, oh, I don't want him, him, him. You can do some sorting, filtering. Uh, you can do a lot of options in here to really clean it up before you actually print off your letters of who you'd like to see and how you'd like to see them or sorted as is. So if we go ahead and click OK, we had a total of 14 records, and we hit a few. And you can actually, instead of doing it this way, like number six here, Little Mermaid Cleaners, you can exclude them, exclude, 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 exclude a lot of them, and then go back to edit it, and you can see all these boxes are unchecked, and I'm like, no, I need to let everybody know that, hey, you're getting a great deal, $5, come now. In any case, we're going to include everybody. Click okie dokie. But like I said, I go over this in great detail because this is a Word feature, the mail merge that is, so I cover it in Microsoft Word. So go ahead and watch that. So once you cleaned it up, got to the point that you're comfortable with it, go ahead and click next to complete the merge. And then you can just go ahead and print it right off, or you can go ahead and edit the individual letters, all of them. So when you click OK, it opens up, and I got a total of 14 pages, one for each record. So I can go to the first one, like Star Temps, and go, hmm, I'm going to personalize this. Hit Enter a couple of times and say, P.S. Remember that time that we had tons of fun? You were fabulous, babes, and then whatever you want to put. And then you can go ahead and print, and it's personalized for, well, Star Temps. Well, you got all the other pages here. And then when you're done, well, you can close out and not save it. And then you've already got the clients in here, so you can save this, and it will keep them here for a later date. But you close out of here, and you don't save it. Go back to your database. There's more records that are added. Addresses have changed. You may want to go ahead and start the whole process over again with the word merge. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.